off 240. So it's converting uh, 240 volts into 12 volts. Oh, no, I mean when you when I'm parked when I'm parked and not using it, mm -hmm. not using the van. Yeah. Can I isolate the 12 volt so it's not draining it? So, so turn all the you know yeah. disconnect all the house electrics. Yeah, as long as everything's turned off, nothing will be drained. But there's no main switch you can turn it off. At. Um, beside the circuit breaker, the I suppose. Circuit breaker, yeah. I'd just say unplug it from the battery. Oh, unplug like, the battery just, there. Just, yeah, just take terminals off. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. right. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's probably your, so that's you're, another way. You're yeah. just saying it one, if you have it parked for ages, just so you make sure. It's yeah, 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 yeah. I'd just say yeah, just unplug and just give it a bit of okay. uh, insulated tape over your terminals so they don't okay. dry out and all that. All right. So yeah, all your be there. All your Cupboards? Yep. Just a simple flip over. Yep. Okay. Here too, you have your battery charger okay. manual. That looks like the other one. In awesome. here, you've got a lot of manuals and all that. Yep. So around here, your microwave. That will only run off 240. Okay. Your fridge, your three way fridge. So, so that'll run off this gas here as well. Yeah, yeah, sure. Right. So if you it's feel, just a matter of switching it. If you just feel in there now, just so you know, it's that's been on on twelve forty, yeah, two forty. Yeah. So that that's really cold, like that's. But that's been on all day. Yeah. It does. It see if you feel in your freezer. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. It's yeah. Cold. So yeah. you know that two forty works. So yeah, the gas, the gas won't mm -hmm. run as good. But it still run. So you just switch that to gas. Okay. Have it. You can. You can't run gas as high as you can run two forty. Okay. So yeah, and then once you have it on gas, you just push that, while you're pushing that, you, you push that one in, and you're just waiting for that red indicator to move over to green. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure of the vein is actually level, so it might be a bit hard to bring it across. But we, I lighted it the other day. So it's got a sensor to make sure it's... Yeah, level, yeah. otherwise it won't allow it. Oh, you got um, it's just so the gas can come through the lines. Okay. Because it will travel easier. It moves a little bit. Usually it's not as hard as this. As you can see now, it's coming up. Oh, yeah, it's moving. It's, it's usually, it's really never as hard as this. Okay. I'm, I'm, I probably don't have the van actually living. Yeah, and we only and just turn the gas it. on. And then now so it will stay there. And okay, and cool up. and that'll just keep it going. Yeah, yeah, and it'll get cool. And, okay. And, I, and the, if you ever forget, they always put the operations. Oh, okay, on yeah, on so how that, to run it. That's yeah. real, real useful. What you just did there, yeah. it's in words there. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Right. So can we just turn that off now? Yeah. Switch so it if you now you'll see that you'll know it's working because when you turn it off you'll see the red curve go, go, go down. Back to okay. Off. Okay. That's all off then. And right. um, your beds they all have a clip so that will that just brings it out so it's all. Okay. So I'll start taking it. I'll start taking yep. it all down now. Sure. So that you can either you can run a light off like you can run the like, one of those lights off of it from there or you can. Okay, yeah. Pretty much yeah. hang anything off of it. So that's how you pull it in? Yeah, you, or you can use your hand. I just yeah. choose to do that. It's just a little trick I've found. Under your bed, you have a little. This is only on the kids' bed. Okay. So there's your yep. queen. Easy double. Alright. What is that wooden thing? That, it just hangs up. It goes up so they can't roll off it. Oh, right. Yeah, I yeah. gotcha. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Oh yeah, and so that's what um, you meant, kids' bed. Yeah, okay. We've actually the only place we could put your hot water was under here. Okay. okay. So that's your actual unit. Yep. So we've had to unremove this. This usually this had screws in it before, and yep. it was screwed in. Yeah. So what we've done, we've took the screws out, put a whole plate in there for you. Yeah. So you can bring it up. Yeah. A little bit of storage now. Yeah. Extra storage. So what I've done, what we've also done. So there's a switch that it. The only way you can turn it off is by because it runs off 240. Okay. So you got your switch there, so you just turn it on and off. Yep. That's just that valve there is just your hot water release. Okay. So if you turn that, it'll all be released. Yep. And right. what what I've also done is see how there's like a cover there. Oh yeah. That's just a false plate because 
usually you are not you you can't access there because that's where a lot of the behind there if you look in there you'll see a lot of cables being ran and all oh, that. Right, right. It's where we brung two forty up behind there. Yeah. So I blocked it off so. So you can so just no store one, things in there if you so want. So yeah, so no one can put their hands. Okay. So yeah, I advise no one to put their hands in round the side under here and all that. Okay. All so right. I blocked it off so no kids can. Good. Get in there. All right. Like all the two forty, the wires are covered and all that. Like yeah. there's nothing exposed, but yeah. it's also where the cables are. Okay. For your windshield, because really, yeah, like this is, this is screwed down. Normally. It's um. Yeah. But yeah, it's the only place we could fit the hot water. Okay. Yeah. All right. Have leverage, but I don't want to stand on any equipment. Okay, don't get your finger caught. Got it. Are you just trying to get the fabric out? Yeah, just so it's easier when we yep. bring it down. Yep. Bring this one in, pump off. So, whenever you're not using your hot water, have it off. Okay. It's, like, it's been on all day and it's been alright. Yeah. But it, it does get hot. So, you're just going to turn it off the main? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so just have it off and yep. your piece of mine, like you don't have to worry about it overheating or drying right. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Or drying yeah. out, like when it's why I work it when it doesn't need to be worked. Yeah. So all your lights will run off 12 volt and yep. 240. Just store those in there. Yeah, yeah, I'll just put that one under there. This will come down and then... Is the one on this side? Yeah. Is this your Velcro clip in there, is it? Mm. Usually you go outside and do it. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to do it the easy way. Oh yeah, I can see. And the buttons as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. So, yeah, and then under here you have. Oh, this just rotates down. Yeah. Clip, so that will unclip. Oh, the whole fridge, the whole thing moves in on me. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. Little handy thing. It is. Yeah, you got. Yeah, if you're fine, you get a lot of room when you. It's a lot of space. Yeah, when you pull it out. Oh yeah, the beds won't come in because we got the. Oh the yeah on. yeah. Okay. Oh, That's and it. also before I do that, I'll pull your your door up. It takes a bit of work. Okay. So you just unvelcro it. Now I advise I advise a safe or if you're gonna keep anything oh, valuable in there. Yeah. Take them out in your car or a safe because. Yeah. Really. They can just cut through there. Pretty easy. Really, you don't even need to cut. You can just open it up with Velcro. Yeah. yeah. But any van, if you want to get into it, they're too easy to get into. Yeah. So we just advise any customer, just any valuable. Probably keep yeah. it in the car. Lock yeah. it in the car. Like we don't. Have, you, you might. You probably won't get a lot of cases. But yeah. Yeah. Like even your gas bottle. <laughs> have a lock on it or something. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So yeah, your door. I have two clips on the side here. Yep. So, this bit goes back, and as you see on the bottom of the door, at the bottom bottom of it, see how it's got two holes? Yep, yep. It's there. If you, yeah, yeah, if you come looking here just for a second, there's, there'll be two pins. 
Yep. See the two bins there? Yep. And this strap. See, I had this, this strap, strap folded over. Okay, you but drop, that's drop what, it down. So, yeah, yeah, that. Okay. This will go back. And this will come up. And it will, the two pins will sit in the door. Yep, okay. And then this bit will come up. You strap it up. This has a strap here. Yep. And then you just have a strap here. So now to put it down, yep. you unstrap it. Just gotta just be really careful. That yep. will slide. Okay. And then these pins, these pins are on the bottom of the door. Yep. They'll go into the two holes here. Okay. Yep. And then you've got just the two locks. These go. Those go into this hole. Onto the holes here. Yeah. Yep. Good. Yep. So now you're just ready to put it all down. Alright. This is fine, just leave that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, it fits over it. Okay. There you go. Bed. Fire to take off. I just put these in the loop. Turn your gas off first. Oh yeah, that's it. So yeah, when you get home, if you're gonna keep if you're keeping your van at home for a while before you travel, what you do you turn it off, go inside and put your gas ball on and just bleed all the, okay. bleed yeah. the gas out. Okay. So extra bit of safety. Yep. Alright, and the other Oh this one too. Oh that's the safety one. Yeah, so I'll they can't fall out here. Get under velcro underneath it. Yep. Good roll up. Strap the in. So there's no real rules on how to put it in, just whatever easy whatever is easiest for you. Yep. Just as long as it pushes in and winds down. So you, really need to worry you do about have it. to clear the track, get the track clear, so that you can slide it in. Yeah, a bit. yeah. yeah I okay. just, I just pull these up because it's easier later to, to okay. push all the fabric right. back in. So now it's in, and okay. When you pull them out, you want to try and pull it out evenly, because 